what we're trying to do here is uh, create a model, create something that volunteers can do that we can spread to all the 46 later states so that, so that we can have a, uh, a, a real you know, professional style campaign with people working, you know, uh, uh, working serious hours. That doesn't mean all. It doesn't mean everybody has to work serious hours. I know a lot of you are working two, three jobs, and uh, but that we've got we've got enough people doing what needs to be done uh, on the scale that it needs to be done. We did some math and we figured out for Tennessee that to really make a difference uh, and and to really feel like we can make the difference that we need to to win that it's gonna take 5,000 volunteers uh, work, working, uh, making a commitment of four hours a week. And you know why we're saying four, four hours a week? Uh, anybody remember Paul Wellstone? Any, anybody who was inspired by Paul Wellstone? Uh, Senator Paul Wellstone, he had an organizing model in his campaigns where he, he asked volunteers to give four hours a week. Now, if you can't give four hours a week, uh, we'll still take three or two or one. Uh, whatever you can give, but we but we know that we're going to need at least 5,000 volunteers. Uh, we need to build up to that number and have that number of volunteers in Tennessee working in January and February, and that's what it's going to take to win. And that's going to allow us, according to this math that these field experts, you know, the people that just do that for a living. I know there's a lot of you here, uh, and and we worked it out, and that's that means that we're going to be able to contact at least 500,000 voters in Tennessee, uh, one on one, right on the phone or on the doors. And that's a whole lot of voters in Tennessee. And that that's gonna make a huge impact if we can do that. Now, if you go ask any seasoned campaigner, anybody who's worked on a presidential campaign before, what are they gonna say about 5,000 volunteers working four hours a week in Tennessee? Dream on. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but we can do it because we, um, that's something when you have a mass movement on your hands, and when you have a revolution on your hands, and I think some, for some of you, this is not your first. Some of you, you have, you have been here before, right? Raise your hand if you've been in a moment like this before. It may have been, may have been 20, 30, 40 years ago or more, <laughs> but a, a bunch of you have, have been there before. And when, when you have a moment like that, things are possible that were not possible uh, before. And, and now with uh, uh, the, the way we're, we're given, you know, history gives you gifts. Right, whether you believe in God or history or whatever, it, we are given gifts, right, at times, and we've been we've been given a, a number of gifts, right, because just when we thought that we were completely knocked out, right, Citizens United, right, it's corporate money running everything, right, so forget it. If you're not backed by the corporations, you're not going to have the resources. But anybody know how much Bernie Sanders has raised so far in this campaign? Uh, yep, more than that even, 45 million. It's probably a lot more than that now, actually. Great, thank you. And that's thanks to you guys. Raise your hand if you donated. Look at that. That's crazy. Raise your hand if that's the first time you've donated to a candidate. Look at that. I mean, it's amazing, right? And uh, a million.